Hi, welcome back to uh, me and Monami. And today is the beginning of a very exciting series of films for us because today is the first leg in our journey to take our Citroen Ami Elton all the way to Saint Tropez. <laughs> So today is episode one, the first leg of our journey, and it is a 44 kilometre drive going from here, Villefranche sur Mer, right the way down to a place called Mandalier Lanapool. Uh, and we're going to make this journey via Nice, via Antibes, via uh, Cannes, where we're going to take you to the wonderful uh, fruit vegetable, fish, meat, and all things market. And we're hoping to grab some lunch whilst Elton has a charge. So um, it's a lovely day. Sit back and enjoy the drive. It's really exciting to be finally making this journey to what some people regard as the uh, the end of the French Riviera. There's some debate about it. Some people say the French Riviera ends at Marseille. Some think it ends at Saint-Tropez. Uh, and down the line, way down the line, we do have a plan, I think, to try and maybe get to Marseille. But this trip is, uh, is going to be quite epic because we've got so many places to visit on the way uh, and so many so many things to eat, Mr. Boo. Oh, yeah. And so many things to, to do. And, and Mr. Boo facts. Mr. Boo facts. And, and Halloween is here. Is it the first time you've ever been to Saint Tropez Halloween? Yeah, I think it is. She, she, see? Nucky Bear. Do you know, whatever happened to Nucky Bear? Was it Keith Harris who had Nucky Bear? Or was that little Lord Font? No, what was that screaming Lord? So oh, I can't remember. A bit of a lovely, uh, lovely dish over here called Lulu. Oh, you mean Vindalulu? No, he don't. He needs a sweet Scottish lassie with a superb chassis. They all blur, don't they, those golden comedy moments from our childhood? Oh, no, Keith Harris had Orville. Oh, yes. I wish I could fly way up to the sky, but I can't. Yeah. I can't. I wish I could see what folks see me, but... I can't. You can't. I can't. Now, Orville, you're supposed to say yes now. Yes. Now that you're here with me, there's nothing that we can do. So why don't we take a chance and hear what I'm saying, Orville? You say yes now. Yes. Who is your very best friend? Oh, that was the Orville voice. You are! And who's going to help you mend? Your broken heart. I got a broken heart, aren't I? And you're going to help me mend it. Well, this clip will be cut in the edit. Make no mistake. He wanted a lift. I don't think we've room. We would have given him a lift, but it's a bit t tricky to pick up hitchhikers in a Citroen Ami. Be no good for a serial killer, would it, this car? Well, they tend to work on their own, so it would be OK. Oh, I suppose, I suppose Dharma could have had him sat here, couldn't he? Oh, yeah. Come into my car. Jeffrey Dharma, he would have card. So, we're just going to pop in here and put some air in Elton's tyres. We don't want Elton going flat on the journey to Saint-Tropez, do we, Mr Boo? Absolutely not. And the two petrol stations that remain near us in Villefranche, we went yesterday and both of them had... Uh, their, their tyre pumps were out of order. But, of course, there's a bit of a queue for fuel. I can see it over there, Mr Boo, and there's a man with a wire, so it must work. Look, he's taking it to his. Or he's taking... Maybe he's just taking a pipe off it. Oh, no. you're joking. Yes. Maybe somebody ran over the nozzle. That's always happening. So we've just seen that the man took the pipe off and there's an out-of-order sticker on this one now. 
you see? Just our luck. And now we're stuck going into a petrol station when we don't need petrol behind a queue. <laughs> Saint Tropez, here we come. I think there's another petrol station here. Let's see if their tyre pump is working. This is petrol station number four. I still think it was rationed. They're so busy, aren't they? Is that man at it? <laughs> is that it? Oh, you know, he's doing car wash. We're not going in car wash. It's not advised. Can you see it? No, that man's hoovering. I would have thought it was here. On this side. Oh, it looks like he's e charging, doesn't it? Is that the Hoover? Car valet. We could do one of those, Mr. Boer. Car Hoover. We really could. I don't know why nobody sends us one. But they haven't seen the state of the car. Oh, it's here. It's right here. Oh. Oh, I can see a pipe on it, look. Yep. There's a pipe on it. Good God. I bet we get then. It says 36 euros a tyre. It might. Or out of order. There's all kinds of chaos in this petrol station. I don't think the French si oh, the system has fully recovered from the shortages. People still seem to be panic buying. <laughs> this guy's panic reversing. Does he want some air in his tyres? Do we think? Yeah, I think. Well, there's a queue now for the tyres. Oh, no, he's doing some more panic reversing. Where is he going? Are you going to do a pump, or is it just park in there? It's chaos at this petrol station, <laughs> isn't it? Absolute chaos. There must be... There's a queue of about ten behind us. I can't believe it, this petrol thing is... I thought it had ended. I think as well, what's happened, we've noticed, is that two or three of the big petrol stations around here in the last six months have all closed. Yep. Or become bakeries or uh, uh, brothels. Oh, what's he doing? The front ones now. There's four, it's not a bike, is it? Oh, my God, I don't think this man has got a driving licence. Have you ever seen anything so ridiculous? He's now got the pipe wrapped round his wing mirror and he's driven into the kerb. I think they've launched space shuttles in less time than this. Oh, what is he doing? Has he not thought if you just turn around, your wheel would be on this side? He hasn't, has he? If he just did a Yui. Yeah, but it's not a Citroen me. It's a big car to turn around to. And... It's not. It's a Toyota Yaris boot. We should not bother them now. Just giving us the wave. I think that means he's going to launch his shuttle. I do hope I don't have as much trouble, Mr. Boo. You will have lots of trouble because you can't see. It might be easier for me to do it. Quick tip, by the way. If I, oh, we've mounted curly. Um, here we go. Let's pull in. Yeah, I was just going to say a quick tip for you. If you want to know what tyre pressure to have this car at, there's a sticker down alongside the driver's seat. And uh, it's just down here. And it tells you. Or it might be on that side, but it might be on both. But um, very simple. Like now, covered in oil, it's gone all over my T-shirt. I reset my microphone, you see it? Mm -hmm. That was a really stupid thing to come in here and do that. No problems. Well, rears were low. They were low. Mm. Um. Oh, look, I'm covered in it. So we've made it to Cancer Mare with uh, 
58 kilometers of range, so we've burnt up 17. What's the distance to Cancer from Villefranche, Mr. Boo? 15 kilometers. 15, so we burnt up 17 and it's 15. But we did, we did. We did. <laughs> five in the petrol station. Petrol station. Uh, and we have a full load in here, and Halloween's very heavy. And we've also got our uh, uh, Ukati uh, generator power bank in the front here because when we're in Cannes, we're going to charge up from that rather than waste time trying to find a charger. You may have seen that video the joys of finding a charger in Cannes in a multi story car park and then paying 13 uh, euros for the privilege. So we brought our own power. Not that we tied. So as you leave Villeneuve Lube, this road becomes 70 uh, and is no overtaking. So it's one of those roads where you do feel a bit guilty. I mean, not a lot guilty. Just a bit that you do hold people up and there's not a lot you can do. Mr. Bill, there's a Citroen Ami over there. Oh yeah. First one spotted today on the corner of Admiral Courbet Avenue in Juan Le Pan. Outside the police station, I think. Yeah, and they've put their own uh, wheel trims on there, not official Citroen -y ones oh, there. Wow. They've been bought on the Mr. Auto, I reckon. Oh look at the sign. Oh, oh it's so pretty this sign, Juan Le Pan. Look at this, it belongs to a whole other era when of course, Jean Le Pan was at one time one of the most fashionable bits of the whole French Riviera. So much so that uh, Peter Sastet sang my favourite song about it, didn't he? He certainly did. Where do you go to, my lovely? When you're alone in your bed, won't you tell me the thoughts that surround you? I want to look inside your head. Yes, I do. Do you remember he sang, you, you talk like Marlene Dietrich and you dance like Zizi Jean Bear. And your clothes, they're all made by Velmas. And there's diamonds and pearls in your hair. Yes, there are. But yeah, Jean Le Pan was where the jet set, do you remember them? The jet set used to come. And then they'd go in skiing in the winter and they didn't do any work and they drank Napoleon brandy. Then were the days. Do you remember your days in the jet set, Mr. Boo? I do. Me too. But anyway, this is Jean Le Pan, and it's still got a bit of something about it, but it's, uh, I just, it doesn't feel as glamorous as it had, perhaps it once did. Two are on. Top's on. Is this on round here? Is it turned on? No. Yeah. It wasn't turned on though, was it? Making us come in here. I don't we see shouldn't, the things coming we up. shouldn't be coming here. It says we can come in here. I don't think we should. That could have gone straight under the car. We'd have absolutely. F <sighs> Cardiac. 
See they're driving without the lights on. We shouldn't be in here. There's a barrier at bottom. She's getting in. Brilliant. But but he'll have a they'll have access because they've got a flat. We won't be able to get out. Well, there'll be a button. Because we pit, n nipped in on his think, ticket, didn't we? Um, I can't go backwards in time and change it, so you just have to wait. She's got to get her handbag. Well, it's a good job I haven't got trapped in here. We're behind these people who seem to have a, a bleeper for the barrier because we're going to have to fly over it again. Otherwise, we're stuck in here forever. Oh. <laughs> Might be not to do that again, Mr. Boo. I will. Heart and mouth. And I drove over those things and I saw them rising up. It was terrifying. So here's the market. Here's the market. Can and you here's, see where you're coming out yeah, here's the left hand, turning left into the parking here. Left. Left, Suke Fourville, 92. Left. Left, yeah. 92 places. We're yeah. in. We're in, folks. And the market's still going. Result! So French. Did you press the button? Yeah. Okay. Let's get to the market, folks. Heading into the market, we're going to first go to the restaurant we want to take you to and try and book because uh, otherwise it could all end in tears. See, just down the side of the market here, you've got lots and lots of fantastic restaurants, quite a lot of seafood and uh, quite traditional stuff. It's a great place to come and eat if you're in Cannes. I don't quite believe this. We actually rang last night and tried to book and we got the answer machine and of course, well, it's closed from the 31st of October to the 11th of November. So it could be, can be, it's quite unbelievable. Let's take a look around the market. Just look, this, um, this fruit looks fantastic, doesn't it? Mr. Boo. The problem here is there really is so much choice in terms of restaurants around this market. It's quite fantastic. But uh, which one shall we go for? I think basically this far side of the market is a bit more boozy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Boozy and snacky and cheaper. And then on this other side is a little bit sort of uh, a little bit more restauranty. I quite fancy this place, Mr. Boo. It's got some fantastic aged beef in there. Mm, Halloween quite likes it. <laughs> so we've settled on this very meaty looking place. And in fact, they brought us a very meaty knife, which is promising, but it's right next to the market. And uh, let's see what we get. There's entrecots and tagliatas, your favorite. 
or if you want to have something from the actual butchers, you can choose a piece of meat and they will cook it for you, depending on the weight of the meat. So there's a butcher shop in there. There's a butcher shop. And you can actually go in and just, as if you've gone to the butchery, and, and pay what it costs in the butchery, but there's a 14, ways, 14 yeah. euro supplement for the cooking, isn't there? Yes, and that um, includes your, your, um, your side and, your, um, and some butter and the, and the cooking wow. of it. I'm, I'd love to do that, just to choose my own steak. We'll go and have could, a look at could be very inside. expensive, though. Let's see. So, what have you got, Mr. Boo? I've got a big, sexy entrecot of boeuf. Oh, that, that looks seriously sexy. With a garlic clove on top. And I've got some chips that are cooked in beef fat. Beef fat chips? Mm, they're very nice. Try the steak. Oh, the table's a bit wobbly. How did you get it cooked? Senyong. Senyong. Mmm. I'd have had it, but is it nice? Mmm. Oh, it's a bit more. Mmm, really good. What did you get? I got half a chicken. Oh, my. Look at that, pule roti with frites in beef fat. They are so good. <laughs> I mean, we're devotees of the air fryer, but uh, just occasionally you're allowed that. Naughty. Naughty, as our friend Fern would say. Let's be naughty sometimes. The chicken is delicious. And really good. It Re looks it and it smells it. It's really creamy. Um, mm, no, really good. And there's some sort of parsley. A little bit of herb, a little bit of spice. But um, no, very simple, very delicious. So our total bill there came to 54 euros. We just had a main and we just had some water. We were very good. But now it gets more exciting because now, Mr. Boo, where are we going? We're going to Lanapool. We're heading to Lanapool, but we are heading to a hotel that all I know about it is it has electric charging. Because Mr. Boo is, for some reason, keeping it a secret from me. I love now, surprises. Is it, is it going to be some kind of weird echangist establishment? You have to wait and see. Well, let's go get in Elton and uh, see what happens and see what it's like to drive further along the coast to Mandalia Lanapool. I was, I was waiting for you to... Oh, they've done it. They've recognised us. We can go. Uh, um, I was waiting for you to ask. Guess how much it was? How much? But you made me pay. Oh, how much? One pound. So one euro seventy. Wow! So, me slagging off expensive parking in Cannes. Maybe it's just when you're on the Croisette it's expensive. Do you know, Mr. Boo, Oscar Wilde, when he was in exile after he'd been disgraced and in the eyes of British society and he'd had to flee the country. Well, everybody thinks Oscar Wilde went to Paris, he did. But he also came down here and he stayed for a while in Lanapool. Really? Mm. And uh, with a bit of luck and a following wind, I'm going to tell you all about it in probably the next episode of uh, our series of vlogs down here. So uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and hit the bell to receive a notification so you don't miss out on the untold story of Oscar Wilde on the French Riviera.
fuckish. Oof. So, this secret hotel that we're staying at, for some reason, I have not been told about where. I've not had approval. In fact, I've not had approval on any hotels for this trip, which worries me greatly. It's not in this car park. You know, keep going round the road. To direction of Mondelier? Yeah, go right here. Oh. Are we staying in a houseboat on the river? Or we'll be revealed. Does it have charging? That's all I care about. Yeah. I'm happy if there's a charge. I don't need to sleep. Sleeping's for wimps, especially when you're on a big tour like this one. Are we camping? We're not camping. So can we go left here? Well, you've gone past the turn, but yeah. Oh. I'm so excited, I missed the turn. The golf. So where? Is so we're going one? right here. Here. Okay, well. And we're going to go over the bridge. Are we staying in some student hall of residence? It's like going back <laughs> to the Edinburgh Fringe. You wish. <laughs> I don't. I've done that once this year. Trying to get around the box. Oh, somebody having a driving lesson. Oh, look, it's lovely, this river. What's the river called? Uh, I don't know. Then we're going to turn right here, right down here, Camp right right here, right here. Oh, cute. Jesus, we nearly went over that thing. Camp in Le Pruniers. Go down here. Yeah. Straight on. Straight on where? Past, past that man. Vacancio. Vacancio. It's a, it's a hole for vacances. And then you're going to go right here. Right here. Oh. Oh. Past. Yes, I can. And then at the end here, I believe it's on our right. Are you sure it exists? It's not like that uh, cascade you took me to. Let me turn right here. Thank you. Oh. The, the trouble with the mystery to the driver doesn't know where he's going. It's the sweets to Jim Robinson over there. Is this one Madge's? Madge's Hotel Casa Rose, spray the sun. Oh my God, it's got a pink sign. And it's neon. Is it a nightclub? It's not a nightclub. There's another pink thing there. Is everything pink? Uh, I think we should try and drive further down. I think we should drive back straight out. Check in, check out only. Well, let's try to check in, check out only, and we can ask where this looks. Oh, there's, a, there's one of those uh, Citroen Jeeps that people hire. That's that's cool. It's not pink, at least. Mahari's. Oh, it's their hotel, Casa Ross Mahari. Oh, there. charging. Look, there's the charging. Here. I mean, we're disabled. Yeah, while we go and check in. I think we might get away with it. The rose. It's like a hotel painted by David Hockney. There's cactuses and vivid colours. Groovy I feel like I'm in California. Well, folks, let's uh, check out the uh, Hotel Casa Rose. I'll wait out here with Halloween. I hope it's dog friendly. Hop. Oui, je dois juste. Euh, on, a, on a mis euh, le petit euh, voiture électrique à côté de la bande. On peut, on peut le laisser là. Ok, je reviens avec ça. What's the news? Said you're not allowed in. Oh, because I'm not pink. Because you're not pink. 
uh, and you might, and you might card. Uh, we can leave the car here probably a bit closer to the charger so we can charge. Yeah, straight in. Two hours 15 to a charge. Well, there you go. Pink hotel's rule for charging. We're we now going to our pink room, Mr. Boo. I don't know if the room is pink. <laughs> Got through you. There's a swing for you. Swingers Hotel. It's stripy. It's strikingly stripy. It's like a horror movie in pink. The <laughs> grand reveal of the pink room. It's not quite pink. What colour would you say this is? I'd say it's orange. It looks, it looks funny on the camera because it's not actually the colour. Well, we up. better do a room tour. Shall I put the lights on first? Some stripes. Oh, we can put them on. Put some lights on. Well, it's rather... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite something. It's got a... It's got Mr Boo's surfboard at the head of the bed. It needs a sitter and a meal there. I'm going to get a sticker and put it up. And, and a very large bed, that's got some retro telephone in case I need to ring the past. Any, anyone from the past. And uh, some very groovy lights and a sort of tan seat. A little workspace for me to do some editing, because sadly I have to do some editing as well as filming. A woman's work is never done. And here's the bathroom, nice big shower, we like that. Rainforest head, very good. Um, Little nice sink, sort of marbly, marbly effect, and a, a toilet with some toilet roll. We always like that toilet roll. Well, there's loads of room to put your um, Citroen and me bags. Show us the terrace, Mr. Boo. Oh yes, it's. Oh, it's this thing. It's Halloween's looking very. Uh, she's intrigued by her new house. She's not sure. Is this where I live now? And only for a night, Halloween. We can't afford any more. Um, and uh, sort of a, oh, a, view of, a view of the yard down there of the Hotel Casa Road. Very nice. Well, I, I bet if Oscar Wilde had come here now, he'd have stayed in a hotel much like this. I bet he would. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment, and uh, please think about buying us a coffee. We've got to pay for the room somehow, unless Mr. Boo's getting it out of his knicker drawer. Have a great week, everyone. Remember, stay charged. Bye.